Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mr. <laughs> this is the Caribbean, and here is Dominica. Now, come on, let's have a look, shall we? First populated by Arawak peoples from South America, these unfortunate folk were wiped out by the invading island Caribs, the fiercest fighters in the Caribbean, who took over in the 1300s. On the 3rd of November, 1493, Christopher Columbus sighted the island and named it Domenica, which is the Italian word for Sunday. The Spanish faced considerable aggression from the Caribs and did not bother establishing permanent settlements, so the island remained as it was for now. The French colonial organization, the Compagnie des Îles de l'Amérique, claimed it for France in 1632, but no settlements were attempted until 1690, when the lure of its thick, lush forests became too strong to resist. They then began to grow coffee on the island, and since people back then were as crazy about that beverage as they are now, demand was high, and they planted more and more. And since employers were as crazy about cheap labor as they are now, they brought in slaves from Africa to work on the plantations and keep the roaring revenue rippling into their pockets. Britain conquered the island in 1761, during the Seven Years' War. A few years later, France conquered it back. Then Britain got it again. Then the French attempted to take it back twice and failed, but still torched the capital on their way out. But Dominica remained a British possession. Slavery was abolished in 1834, and a black majority government was soon formed. But even liberal Britain could not quite stomach this reality, and made administrative efforts to lessen the power of the people, blacks being by far the majority. The people, however, were determined to self-govern, achieving this at last in 1967, and full independence in 1978. But in the very next year, Hurricane David totally trashed the country. Fortunately, the wise and capable leadership of Eugenia Charles got the nation back onto its feet. The succeeding leader worked to diversify the economy, not making it so reliant on bananas, and thus essentially more fruitful. 2015's tropical storm Erica brought plenty of destruction. Dominica's many mountains means it is susceptible to landslides in torrential weather, and that's just what happened. But the worst storm in the country's history so far came in 2017 with Hurricane Maria, which affected every single Dominican, whether from a wrecked roof or a wrecked everything. 100% of the banana crop was destroyed, and over 60 people killed. France, the Netherlands, and the UK sent much needed help, and Dominica began stitching itself back together again. Dominica is a small country with a small population, but has still produced a world-famous writer and is listed as having a high human development index rank, which is rather remarkable for such a bruised and battered bit of earth. The island's extraordinary natural beauty attracts an increasing number of tourists, and if you plan on going, well, just make sure it isn't too windy outside. Anyway, that's it for Dominica, and that's all from me for now. Bye-bye! <laughs>